big headshot. Oh, they're gonna be complaining aimbot for sure. I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up, guys? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another PUBG Xbox One X video. In this video, I would like to talk about the consistent and intermittent crashes that we experience that cause us to dashboard on our Xboxes and uh, sometimes cost us the win. Uh, but before we get into that, how'd you guys like that intro? <laughs> I shot the guy in the head while he was upside down on a bike. That was insane. I was so I was so uh, pumped for that. This gameplay is one of my early gameplays from when this first came out on uh, on PUBG. And the lag in the beginning was so bad, and my aim was so clunky on the controller. And this dude did not want to get shot. I was getting so pissed off at this part. I was like, Oh my god, just let me kill you. <laughs> And, and I still hate that to this day uh, when when guys don't have guns and they just keep like running around a rock or running around the building or, or a wall or something. It's like, dude, you're going to die. Just accept the fact that you're going to die. Walk out and give me an easy shot for the love of God. <laughs> All right, guys, but let's talk about the, the crashes in PUBG. First off, let me start by saying that I have been playing PUBG since it came out in March 2017 on the PC for early access. I have over 1100 hours on the PC, and I have, I think, over 400 hours on the Xbox One now. And uh, I have well, well over 200 chicken dinners by now. And I have a lot of experience with this game. I just really love the game. So the crashing part of it is... <laughs> is really starting to get on my nerves because one of my friends was talking the other day and they brought up a good point they're like man instead of you know doing all this crazy stuff with the car meta and you know responding to the community about people you know crying about the cars being too powerful or the cars not being too powerful and doing all these little patches why don't they just fix the crashes and while i think it's very important that the developers listen to the community and their feedback uh, the little issues and the big issues i think the biggest issue right now are the crashes in PUBG. I mean, this is a very competitive game. When you get killed, you are out of the game. So the fact that the game crashes is not good. If you have an Xbox One X with an SSD, it still takes over a minute to get back in and start playing. Some of my friends that have the regular Xbox, it takes them regularly two to three minutes to get back into the game. This shouldn't be happening. I, I think, I, I understand it's in early access, but guess what? I still play it on PC and it still crashes on PC as well. So this isn't just an Xbox problem. This is a problem on PC too. Um, and I have all the latest stuff. I have a really good gaming PC, all the latest drivers. Nothing else crashes on my PC except this game. There's literally no reason it should be doing that. And it's out of early access on PC, but it's still in preview mode on the Xbox. So that I give him a little slack there because it's in preview mode. But... But there, there's something I've noticed that has disturbed me a little bit. I noticed that even after the vehicle nerf, um, if one of your friends is driving a vehicle and crashes, let's say you're driving the vehicle and you crash and your friends are in the vehicle and your vehicle slams head on into a tree because the driver is out of the game. Normally, after this recent vehicle nerf patch, that would take probably half your health, maybe even explode the vehicle if it's not on full health. But... If the driver is crashed, if his game has crashed, the game recognizes this and doesn't do any damage to the vehicle or the people inside. I've noticed this. And that makes me think, instead of focusing on fixing the actual issue with the crashes, they're making the crashes more tolerable. Meaning, the game's gonna crash, it's gonna happen, and hopefully it doesn't piss you off too much. Let's make it so you don't take damage while you're crashed. I really hope that's not the case, but that's what it feels like. I've noticed a couple other little things too that indicate that, and it's starting to make me wonder whether, like, how hard they're actually working on fixing these crashes. Now, I'm not dissing anybody. I think um, they've done a really good job with this game. Uh, I mean, it, it was like the number one game on Steam for a while, and there's millions of people playing it. You know, it's, it's a really popular game. Almost every gamer has heard of PUBG, has purchased it, has played it people know what it is it's super popular on twitch it's super popular on youtube it's popular everywhere so you know thumbs up to the developers for making such an addictive and popular game now let's fix it okay we got millions of people playing it i mean even microsoft is involved now since they're bundling it with the with certain xbox one bundles now we need to get these crashes fixed you know and i really hope it is something that can be fixed i hope that we're not going to go through this entire uh like 
PUBG 1 and they're going to come out and be like, hey, PUBG number 2 is coming out. Buy it. It won't have any crashes. No, no, no. We need to get this fixed. <laughs> we need to get this stuff fixed, man. Another thing that worries me about this is that the game is still so buggy. If another game comes out similar to this game, it's better. And no, I'm not talking about Fortnite. I don't really compare Fortnite to this game because Fortnite is more uh, cartoony and I like my games more realistic. So I think there's a big distinction. Even though the games both have the same Battle Royale concept, they're two totally, totally different games, okay? But if another game comes out that has a realistic concept that's very similar to this and doesn't have as many bugs and has better gameplay, better hitboxes, better gunfights, uh, <laughs> I mean, what's to stop everybody from just migrating over to that? And who's going to say a year or two down the road from now we don't think back and say, oh yeah, I remember PUBG. That kind of started off the whole Battle Royale thing. Man, that game was fun, but it never got fixed. I don't want to have that conversation. I don't want to be having that conversation a year or two down the road, you know? I mean, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll play any game that's good, you know? If a game comes out that's better than PUBG and makes me have more fun playing it, that, that's what I'm going to do, you know? But PUBG is so fun, I, I don't want to walk away from it, you know? But it's it's just, it's buggy, man. It's buggy. And these crashes, these crashes are killing me. So let's hope they get those fixed soon. And I would like to see you guys' input on the comments about what you think is going on why the game is crashing so much keep in mind guys it is it is early access a, aka preview mode game and there is a disclaimer saying there's going to be bugs it's basically it's basically an alpha or like a beta i would say it's it's i would say it'd be on the alpha stages and in the beta right now um even though it's called the preview mode edition so we we, we know there's going to be bugs we live with them but this crashing is such a huge problem for this type of game such a huge problem. Would love to hear you guys' feedback about what you thought of my opinion. I would like to hear your own opinions in the comments. And uh, if anybody has inside information on what actually causes the crashes, is it is it a memory leak? Is it a netcode issue? Is it a server issue? Is it a client issue? Is it a desync issue? What is it that causes these random crashes to happen? And I'm not talking speculation. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear speculation and stuff, but if anybody actually knows, you know, if there's a developer watching this video or, or somebody on the inside team Team that can shed some information that'd be awesome to hear that'd be awesome to hear just so we know like what's going on with it i'm gonna keep playing the game whether it crashes or not but it's really bothering me and i know it's the main thing with the community you know and i think before the desert map comes out i think before any other major updates come out that this is the main thing that needs to be fixed and i hope you guys agree with me and i hope you enjoyed this gameplay this was a 12 kill chicken dinner uh probably the second or third day this game came out on xbox one and i was just getting used to using the controller transitioning over from that keyboard and mouse on pc and my aim was a little clunky but i still had a great game I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching and uh i'll see you on the next video or the next stream later